This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the market was driven primarily by worries that the Federal Reserve would have to get even more aggressive to bring down inflation. After June's consumer price index increased by 9.1% and the prices at the producer level in June rose 11.3%, both higher than expected. The Dow fell 9 tenths of 1% on the week and the NASDAQ dropped 1.6%. The market, however, exhibited more resilience than might have been expected. After closing near its lows on Monday and Tuesday, the S&P turned large losses into small ones on Wednesday and Thursday before closing up almost 2% on Friday. As one analyst said, it is a time of uncertainty, but also opportunity. In the short term, it feels like we're driving downhill with no brakes. The Fed is raising rates aggressively. Inflation's at a 40-year high. The pandemic stimulus is rolling off and earnings estimate reductions are coming. GDP is also going to slow. But when the backdrop is overly bearish, it sets up an opportunity for the long-term investor, whose investment goals need to be met over the next few years, not the next few days. Markets are forward-looking, and the economic backdrop could and will look very different. There are signs inflation is peaking. We're also seeing rising inventories across many sectors and lower prices for industrial metals. We're starting to see early signs of demand destruction for gasoline. Recession odds right now are 50-50, but it is possible the economy is just slowing down. The nation's largest bank, J.P. Morgan, said it sees little or no signs of recession, but it's preparing for one anyway, even though they passed last month's annual stress test with flying colors. But what if there's no recession, or if it's just a mild recession? Corporate profits will be okay. Profit margins are still high in most industries. Corporate balance sheets are good with some $4 trillion in cash. Dr. Jeremy Siegel, the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania Professor of Finance, says, and I quote, today's valuations look very attractive. I won't predict we've hit bottom. No one can. But an investor in this market may be well rewarded, unquote. There are lots of ways to succeed as an investor, according to Dr. Siegel. But over the long run, the stock market remains the best place to do so. Assuming, of course, you have the patience to make it there. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience in building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call us at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.